Hi everyone, this is Mark Charles back with another product review and today we are doing a review on a new Kickstarter campaign which is currently running and is out right now that you can jump into and truly be a part of for these fantastic products to be made, created and for you to have them in your home which look gorgeous. So the ones that we're going to be talking about today is the Super Egg. It's a 1960s true design icon with a lot of fantastic history and math behind it. Um, in 1960, around about that date or so, they had a city or town in Stockholm um, that was um, had a piece of land which was a rectangle. And what they were trying to do is put a roundabout in there for the traffic to go through. But if you imagine, if you have a rectangle and a circle for a rectangle, you're going to have a lot of space that's not used and not really utilized very, very well. So the Swedish town planners were looking all around everywhere to really figure out how to use this space effectively um, and to get the most use out of all of it. Um, and so they came across a guy named Peter Hein, who's a, a Danish mathematician and an extremely intellectual guy who really, you know, had a good, um, good eye for design. Uh, and so he came up with the idea of a super eclipse, which also known as a Lame curve. And what that is, is if you imagine a rectangle, rather than just having the circle, it rather fills the whole area um, around the whole rectangle with kind of curves on either, just around it on either side. So you get more use out of the whole of the space um, than you normally would just with a circle. So um, this design piece became so well known when they used this for this roundabout that all across the world, um, places were using it for design. So they had the Aztec Stadium where they had the World Cup and you have um, things like the Apple icons that you use every single day on your iPhone, the Apple HomePod um, as well, and, uh, and plenty, plenty more. And it really was a very natural um, uh, um, design that people loved. So from that idea of a super eclipse, um, they wanted to make it into a 3D version to really show what it was about. And so the 3D version of the Super Eclipse beco became known as the Super Egg. And here we have the Super Egg today of exactly what that is. Um, and it's fantastic. So um, the company that's making them is Alt Dynamics. And that's very important because if you go on their website and view their previous history, history of products they've made, They've had many successful Kickstarter campaigns that have done really well and produced fantastic products. So it's much better than a company that's just making one and hasn't got that track record. Well, you don't need to worry about that because this company has a track record. And they're making that super egg in um, three different finishes. And we've got them right here to show you. And three different materials as well too. So you can choose the best one for you or why not go for all three and uh, get a gorgeous looking piece um, that you'll be able to have on your desk, around the home, at your office, or however you so please. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna show you them right now. So first of all, we have the stainless steel um, metal. Now the stainless steel is a really nice weighted piece and you can see it just here. Um, it's, it's a very, very nice one. And I personally think the weight of this is my favorite. Um, compared to the others. Second of all, we have titanium, which is a bit of a darker metal than the stainless steel, um, and it's a little bit lighter as well. So it's a different feel, but it's still lovely. And then finally, we have copper, and copper is a nice weighted material, very similar to the stainless steel, um, and is also, you know, gives you a really lovely color. And over time as well, the copper gets a patina, which means that the copper will go a little bit darker um, and kind of gets this gorgeous natural look that's a little bit different that the stainless steel and titanium don't get. So that's something I've really enjoyed having. Um, and, uh, and don't worry, you can always clean it and get back to square one and just how it arrived as well. But it's a nice little addition to have on there. Now, they're the three metals. But in addition to the metals, there's three finishes. So there's mirror, satin, and the machine finish. So this is the mirror. I'm um, showing you through the stainless steel and it's so, so shiny. You can actually use it as a mirror. You can even see yourself in it. It's that shiny. 
and personally this is my favorite it also feels really lovely to hold is really smooth in your hand if you're the type of person that likes having a fidget gadget on your desk and something just kind of play with this feels the best to hold in your hand just like that now we have this the satin finish this is the titanium again um, which they obviously do they do the satin um, um, just like this in any of the different materials as well it's very similar to what the say um, iPhones or um, Apple computers are like and it's a lovely lovely version which is very nice it doesn't feel as lovely to hold as the um, the, the, um, the mirror but it still is a very lovely piece until finally we have the machined um, one which is just like this now the machine is kind of like a combination of the satin and mirror together it's a little bit shinier than the satin um, but not as shiny as the mirror um, but kind of has its own little look to it so each one of the designs um, or sorry finishes is is gorgeous um, and so the metals so you really just have to choose which one's for you um, and which one you may like the most but uh, personally I'm going to go for the stainless steel and the mirror finish that's definitely my favorite because I love the weight I love the finish um, and uh, it just is a gorgeous gorgeous piece okay so how do they come is a question that everybody always wants to know because if you're going to give it as a gift you want to make sure that it's going to be a lovely um, item that someone's going to really enjoy and, and open it up and the minute they see it just really appreciate it and old dynamics have really done a great job to create packaging um, that does just that and it looks like this so kind of is a packet the package just like this and it's got a fantastic mechanism for opening it kind of like a spiral but it spirals out in a lovely way um, which I love and I think when this arrived and I opened it I just thought wow what a cool way um, and a cool gift you know um, that that I could give someone um, all right let me show you so it comes in here it goes in a little bag just like this you can seal that up and then you're going to just pop that in there this is how it how it arrives and then um, I'll show you how this works it just simply slides on down just like that so it's gorgeous it's got a sticker right on the inside with a brand and it just looks lovely so getting as this as a gift uh, you're not going to be unhappy put it that way in actual fact you're going to love it and a really great weight to kind of all of them really um, with the copper and stainless steel being that little bit heavier than the titanium um, so there we go so that's uh that's the packaging and kind of how that comes um, let me bring this out so i can show you um, one more thing now another thing that i really um, enjoy with them as well is uh, you can use that you can play a fantastic and fun little game uh, now this is glass so i'm going to just bring this over here to show you and i'll give you an example so i've had a bit of practice but honestly i'm not that good at it yet so um we're going to give it a go right now and see what happens but the super egg is always able to stand up by itself so much so that you can roll it and it will stand up by itself too if you've got right, the right technique now for me you know i'm still i'm still um, working on it but let's give it a go and see what happens so we just go like this oh that was very close okay we'll try one more time and just see what happens no and one more oh very close just like that and you can see it's a great little game to really really kind of get it get into and uh, and see if you can uh, get it just to stand up right on the top so just do a I just do one roll oh and you can really see you know how many rolls you can do to try and get it to stand up so uh oh it's it's definitely addictive that's for sure and uh, and you will definitely be able to uh, to give it a go just like that Ta-da! Okay, guys, so I've got some practicing to do, but the fun thing is, it's a great little game, and uh, I know it can definitely keep me busy for a while, so um, that's the best little part about it. So let's put that back, and uh, yeah, so that's just another little element to it, that you can play that fun game and, and see how it goes. Okay, I've got two last things I want to show you, and uh, that is this piece over here. Now, I mentioned before with Alt Dynamics, they've created items previously so you know you're going to be getting something that's really lovely um, and a track company with a track record of success and this is one of them this is the Orbi form in the copper and mirror finish so it also is a, a lot of math a, a very significant um, math history a piece of history behind it too or mathematical history um, and it looks gorgeous it's a little bit like a more of a triangular than the super egg 
and it's got his own little look to it like this. And um, this one, the copper is going to get a patina over time, which I've seen, and it really looks very, um, very natural and lovely too. So I'm looking forward to this, kind of getting that patina over time, um, which will happen, you know, in the near future. Um, so that's one, and I know that if you are um, going on a campaign, um, you can actually choose to add in some of their previous pieces as well. The Orbi form being one of them, and if you go on Alt Dynamics website, uh, you'll actually find many others as well um, that they've made in their history and still have stock or are making them as well. So check that out. And that brings us to our last, last piece, which is, of course, the stand. And, uh, you know, once you've got such a gorgeous little piece like this, you want to have something to display it in a lovely way also. So they make them in three different um, versions. They have a, uh, a dark wood and a lighter wood, and that's this one just here. This is the lighter of the two. And then they also do the carbon fiber, which looks like this. And honestly, the carbon fiber is a lovely weight and my favorite. It's a good weighty, uh, really weighted piece actually um, that they include. So if you imagine you've got these items here and you wanna, uh, as your stand, and you can put them on, just like this, and they just look gorgeous. You can mix and match your colors, and you can also get a stand with three holes in, um, or you can do three singular ones and put them all together, whichever way you choose or want to display them and show them off. Um, but I do think that the stand is worthwhile investing in because it just adds that extra umph that makes it look gorgeous and, and lovely too. So, um, okay, I think that is everything today. And uh, honestly, this is a Kickstarter that's running right this second, and, and you really do not want to miss out on the opportunity. So please head to it straight away, sign up, jump on in, and uh, I think you're going to love it and be extremely happy um, with what um, they're, they've created, made, with a great success, um, track record previously, and an item that you're gonna have in your life for a very long, long time that also could be perfect as a gift. Okay, everybody, this is Mark Charles, and uh, we have a few more product reviews coming up in the near future. So please, please stay tuned, and uh, we're going to show you all those different things of items that really add to your life and uh, that you can use in or outside the home. Thanks so much. Cheers.